speaking to Bloomberg, the MP for East Dunbar Tonshire claimed British public opinion was shifting in favour of having a second referendum on the Brexit deal reached at the end of the negotiations with Brussels. But as the Bloomberg host asked her to explain how the UK Parliament could approve a second referendum proposed by her party, M. Swinson failed to provide him with an appropriate answer. She said, this is why I come back to it's actually what the public wants because as public opinion shifts and we have seen there is a growing appetite within the public if you look at polls for having a vote on the deal. Even among some people who voted to leave because people say, we recognize this is a major decision and it should be up to us to decide the way forward and that has an impact on how politicians respond. If enough people want it and demand it then it can happen. As Liberal Democrats, we just launched the biggest ever campaign outside of the election times to build the momentum for having that public vote on the deal which I think is crucial if we were to move forward as a country together on this, Getty Bloomberg Brexit News, Lib Dems MP fails to explain how Parliament could approve a second EU referendum ever since the historic vote to leave the EU. Some Europhiles in the UK have insisted there should be another national poll on the final deal, but repeated legal challenges have failed to halt the process and, so far, only the flagging Lib Dems under Vince Cable have formally backed the idea, King's College London's Professor Annan Mainon, director of the UK in a Changing Europe research group, said a second Brexit referendum was now highly unlikely, he told Express.co.uk, it's very very hard to see how we get from where we are now to a second referendum. There are always fixes but whether or not that a political will to do this. On the basis of the way Parliament has been voting, then no there isn't. Remainers have been pinning their hopes on the meaningful vote MPs secured on Theresa May's final deal with the EU, if enough people want it and demand it then it can happen Joe Swinson but the government has always said a Commons defeat would simply mean the UK leaves with no deal at all, despite calls from campaigners, Professor Maynon, co-author of Brexit and British Politics, said there were too many doubts about what would happen in the event Mrs May was defeated, and even if that did force a fresh election, Labour remains hopelessly divided on Europe and has shown no desire to back calls to rerun the Brexit vote. Just last month, Jeremy Corbyn was forced to sack his former leadership rival Owen Smith for supporting a fresh vote on the issue, Professor Maynon said, hand on heart no one knows what happens, does the Prime Minister resign? That's not certain, is there a general election? If we have a general election, do Labour campaign on staying in? That's not certain either. With less than a year to go until Britain leaves the EU in March 2019, some have pointed to a sheer lack of time to organise a new national poll, but Professor Maynon said that might be easier to work around, with the EU being persuaded to give the UK an extension. He said, they'd be hard-pressed to say no. On the time issue, you probably need about six months from when you legislate to do it to when you have it. You can't do a referendum on the back of an envelope.